Hello guys, this is Misha Koech and this is a continuation of how to hide IP series. Remember you can hide your hi IP um, you know, without having to pay anything even with this series but the reason I'm showing you a paid option is because some people need a strong IP for I don't know their own security purposes and therefore the paid service is often the best. So instead of going for a subscription that they will keep recycling and giving you the same IPs at the end of the month, you can decide to uh, subscribe to a service that gives you new IPs based on how much you pay for it. And I remember in the past videos, we installed Bitface and it's here. And we were also able to install Proxifier. So Proxifier. I'm going to open both of them and actually you don't need to do anything else other than to just launch them when you launch the proxy fire it will open and goes to your tray at the corner of, of near, near where your time is the usual tray here so because this is a second screen I'm recording the tray is on the first screen so usually there's an arrow facing up if you click bit files will open and go there but when you follow it in the tray and double click it and this is proxifier and this is bitfiz and in this case i'm just going to show you how to get an ip how i get my ip addresses whenever i want to and how to you know connect all right so what i'll do i'll have to close uh, the proxifier for first i think it's here in the file exit and then because the internet is disabled if it's running and um, you're not connected to any IP right here so this should be connected first before you launch your uh, proxy fire all right so I have opened a new window here it's called tunastock.ru this is where I buy my IP addresses so this one and you can click login if you have a login if you don't have you can register and to add money to this site, you need to have a Bitcoin account. I still have a balance of $20. I just loaded it for this tutorial. So you use Bitcoins and then you just go to um, SSH tunnels. And then you can choose any country you want or state or anything you want. So let's go to Alabama. Now all these IP addresses are listed are from Alabama. Okay. So if I choose the first one, for example, this one from this city, you can see the zip code. You can actually select by zip code if you want to. If I choose the first one, information, and you can see it already has one, s one blacklist. But actually most IP addresses have blacklist, but you can get one without a blacklist. So to check for what we will call uh, the proxy score and the risk sc score, you have to it will charge you 0.05 US dollar so you just click check okay so the proxy score shows the anonymity of um, this IP address we have already seen that so 0, 0.00 shows it's really very anonymous but if the score is the higher the score becomes some so some sites rank it in terms of 0 to 100 some 0 to 5 or 0 to 4 so the highest number given by a site I think this one is up to 100 the highest site number is how bad that IP is. For example, can your details be insecure? Like, can your real IP be exposed? If it's high, then avoid it. If it's low, it means it's highly anonymous. Okay? And then the risk score follows the same rule with the prox proxy score, whereby anything below one is highly um, not very risky more secure and anything around five and beyond is very bad proxy to use so make sure you try your best to get something uh, below one for both of them okay so that's how to check the proxy proxy score and risk score now what we are going to do is buy now remember one is cost 1.55 dollars if you want me to buy buy you an IP address I can use my account and buy you one IP address, but I'll charge you um, $2 for that. All right, so once you've bought it, the next thing you need to do is check, okay? 
So the reason we need to check checking is free is if it's functional. If it's not functional, the site will pay back your money. But you can see connection is okay, authentication is okay, traffic is okay. So back to your orders, meaning this proxy is good and is working. If it's not working, then the site will load and refund the balance that you used to buy that whatever proxy. So after you do this, I will make this one into a small screen. Uh, you realize that you have a password and you have a login and then you have the IP address. So what we do, we need to type that IP address here. Remember, we set everything in the previous videos. If you didn't know how to set how to set perfectly the Bitvice and how to set the proxy fire so that it matches the Bitvice, then the links are in the description to the videos that I installed Bitvice and the video that I installed proxy fire. All right. So you have this one as the login so you put it here and the password is one two three four and then you can store encrypted password if you want to but i don't see a need to login so just wait for the key exchange okay you know it's successful when they tell you to accept the key or the algorithm that will allow you to pass through this proxy so accept and save and there is a channel that opens so another one that's a black window it opened on my other window so you see this you can close this it's not important as long as you do not close any of this now that you're connected through this what you need to do is to launch now your uh, uh, proxy fire okay so here is your proxy fire launched and it's in the tray um, I don't know how to move the tray to this other side but here it is Okay, so if we are going to access any page, it's possibly going to pass through or return this IP address. How to check the quality or how good your IP address is, you go to a site called who, who dot, um, I think whore.net, I forget. I'm not sure, but let's see. If it loads, then uh, we are lucky. Okay, so here you can see we are connected through this side what's my ip 107.132.101 but i know it's not going to be very secure because there are things that this site checks that are that we did not uh, set up in these for example you see i have 90 percent but if you go down to make it 100 percent you realize my time is gmt plus eight in malaysia and this time here is um uh eight in the morning pst that's the time that we got the proxy from that was um i forget i think california so the beverly hills so the time now is this so if you change your system time and refresh this for example let me just change it for the sake of this uh video tutorial adjust date and time uh so we have just set the time to gmt minus eight pacific time and if you go back to this site and refresh, you will see if this is not yellow, then probably the time is uh, set. So and I think it says PST, that's the local, the machine time, the system time is Pacific Standard Time. So that's GMT minus eight. And you can see the proxy score is just telling us that your anonymity measure are safe as you don't use them. You can see every page I load will load it through this page. This is the last of how to hide IP, the paid option. So for instance, if you don't want to have a paid option, you can just search for IPs anywhere with login and logout. For example, using uh, a site called fastssh.com, you will get a free IP for seven days. After seven days, you can register and get another free for another seven days. And then you can just load it on the proxy fire the same way we did the host. They will fastssh will give you a name like ww something dot fast ssh and they'll give you a username and password so that's all for this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you think i left out anything thank you